Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. In today's video of QuickBooks Training, we're going to talk about how to set up QuickBooks for Mac. I want to show you how to set up a new company file using QuickBooks for Mac. The version I have installed right now is QuickBooks 2019. When I first open QuickBooks for Mac, this is the screen I see. I'm going to start by clicking on the Get Started button at the top of my window. So the first thing I need to do is pick a name from my company file and choose a location. So I'm going to say Rachel's Mac video file and I'm going to save it in my documents. So I'll click save. So I'm going to fill in the rest of this. Um, so my business address, WA Northeast, sweet, 18, 925, and I'm pretty sure I spelled W wrong. W Washington, that answers are four. Uh, tax form, you should know what your tax form is. If you don't, then I would talk to your tax preparer or look at last year's form. Um, so we'll call this a sole proprietor. I'm going to go ahead and skip the federal ID number. If you don't have a federal ID number for your business, I definitely encourage you to get one. Um, I discourage you from using your social security number. You can get a federal ID number quickly and for free from the IRS. What I'm going to do is go ahead and show you how to get an EIN number real quick. So I'm going to hop into my internet browser and I'm just going to start by going to the IRS website because I definitely want to go to the IRS website to do this. I don't want to use a third party site. So I'm just going to type EIN in the search box and then you can see it pops up apply for an EIN. So you follow the prompts to determine your eligibility, fill out an application, and then you'll get an EIN pretty much immediately. I'm going to show you what that application looks like. So we we'll use the example of a sole proprietor, starting a new business. So you'll fill in just a couple of things, right? You can see a name, social security number, etc., your address, a couple other details, and then a confirmation. This whole process goes quickly and smoothly. You definitely shouldn't just pick sole proprietor because I did for this example. You should pick whatever makes sense to your business. So back to this, we're going to set up the QuickBooks file and leaving the federal ID number blank, just because I don't want to type one in right now. I'm going to choose next. And then we're going to say, what are we doing? So this gives us a chance to pick the uh, accounts that will go on our chart of accounts. This is the default setup. You're not locked into this chart of accounts setup. I have other videos where I show you how to customize your chart of accounts. So if you need to add something or you realize you have something here you don't need, you can always take it away later. So don't spend a lot of time stressing about this. Just take a look and say, yep, this is right, or no, I want to change stuff, or whatever the case is. Because I know I'm going to make more videos where I'm going to customize this, I'm going to leave it set as the default, which is exactly what we have here. If I monkeyed with it and wanted to put it back, I can click on default. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now I've got a, a QuickBooks file set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these one-time messages and just kind of take a look around. I want you to imagine that you set up your QuickBooks file, but you realize you need to change something, such as the address. I want to show you how to do that. When you click in the upper left-hand corner of your screen where it says QuickBooks, you can come down to Preferences. When you open up Preferences, you can click on the little house that says My Company. And that'll give you a chance to update stuff. I had my address spelled incorrectly and I had to go back and fix it. If I didn't catch it during the setup and I realized it later, this is where I would go to fix it. This is also where I'd go to add my federal ID number, my phone number, my website. Uh, I don't have a fax number anymore. Gentlefrog.com, uh, tax information. I can also change up my logo. All right, everything here looks good. So that's how I customize stuff for my company. Very briefly, I'm going to show you how to go to your chart of accounts because I did mention that if you set it up 
and you didn't like it, you can always change it. To get to that, I'm going to click on Lists on the top and then down to Chart of Accounts. This Chart of Accounts list is the list we were looking at earlier during the setup, and this is your default list of, of Chart of Accounts. I'll make a different video later to show you how to customize the Chart of Accounts if you don't like what you have here and you want to make it look different. Thank you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.